Wahab Shitu, SAN, a Nigeria legal practitioner, talked with the media about Abuja residents filing a suit against the inauguration of Bola Tinubu in May 29. Wahab Shitu said that it is only the tribunal that can stop Tinubu from being sworn in in May 29. He said the tribunal has the power to stop the inauguration from going on. They are the ones to decide whether the inauguration will still come to pass or not. No one else. And the constitution states that the court case at the tribunals doesn't stop the president elect from being sworn into office. The tribunals have the power and they can stop the inauguration of Tinubu, but I don't see anything stopping Tinubu from being inaugurated on May 29. Many Nigerians are opposing the inauguration of Tinubu into office. Some can be seen on the streets protesting against his inauguration. Despite all that, it is said that it won't stop the president elect from being sworn in despite the opposition against it. What do you think will happen on May 29? Of course, the people, nobody, like I've always said, nobody is going to go to the street or that. They say, no, 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 don't do that. No. They are just calling the consciousness of a. <clears throat> they are just calling the consciousness of the, the ruling of the. <laughs> what's it called the consciousness of uh, the people in authority nobody is going there and the reason why those ones they are just shouting because they know that uh, they've done a wrong thing nobody is going there just like uh, that here Baba Me said that if he's being sworn in that means democracy has ended they not by not following the law and they were threatening him here and there did, 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 that, that. you can imagine why they give uh, this man Wale Shoyinka Wotu Wotu Somebody of that caliber, with all the mess that happened everywhere, he couldn't say a word. I didn't even know that uh, he's a, a, a very good close friend to Tinubu, not until now. Because you see that, you know that, you think that those kind of people, uh, they choose their, 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 their friends, they choose those who they will have relationship with. If that kind of a Shoyinka has a such a man caught in Umbu as his close allies that he helped him this and that then you begin to wonder the kind of people we have in this uh, society and i think that was the reason why he didn't say nothing during the election because uh, unlike him during the campaign rather unlike him hey during good luck jonathan waiting tell me waiting good luck jonathan did compared to what apc tinubu all of them did to nigerians but we could see Wale Shoyinka, he was all over the place. You would not think that uh, these guys, uh, yes, they love Nigeria. But throughout the campaign, as soon as he knew that Bola Tinubu would be coming out to contest, he just went into oblivion. Me, I was even thinking that, uh, oh, because of what happened during uh, Gulag Jonathan's time, when he supported Buhari, and at the end of the day, Buhari F up. Hmm. And he just didn't want to involve himself, not knowing that uh, it's really, really far from that. But after now, the election, Ima, he can't borrow, come outside, they talk, the yan or pata, and they gave it to him. He said he doesn't know ob obedience. Who know you? Obedience are the people who are neutral. They don't know whether you are from uh, this. They just want good governance. That's just whether you get a, a trillion or, or countable money or to spend, mm -hmm, you know, consign them. But there are some people who are ready to take anything. Who are ready to take anything and they will support anything. So nobody is coming out to say, yeah, we are not going to do this, but the truth will be told that some people spoke about it. Yes, it is a, the tribunal that has a, or the court that has a power to, to stop it. Well, they are doing everything possible. Mm -hmm. No be Nigeria. The only thing that, the only thing there is that Nigerians are fed up. Nigerians are fed up. What can you do? But they are just waiting that their karma and God will arrest these politicians that have turned things up upside down, that they have made lies to be truth. They want you to just accept any rubbish, any nonsense they dish out. They want you to accept it. Any nonsense they dish out, just accept it. Mm. Just, just accept it. That is exactly what they want. But it's not going to work like that. 
it is not everybody that will just be accepting what is not it is not everybody that will just be following people sheepishly some people are, are have made themselves to be tools in the hands of all these politicians it's not everybody that is it we know what is obtainable. The people who are saying that the Tinubu should not be sworn in, they are not going to go outside that. And that's why they have taken, they've dragged him to court that the court should do the needful. The court should do the needful. No, be only then know the law. Because they are just a constituted authority. And that is why those people don't even want to take a laws into their hands. They just want a situation by, okay, you are the, you are the constituted authority, then you do the needful. And that is it. Nobody's going out that day to hold anybody's hands. I know that day it will be like a, there's going to be war. You will see how they are going to deploy security all over the place. Forget it. You can do all of those things. Nobody's coming out to hold you, not to do whatever you want to do. You can swear him in as much as you want. But the truth must be told. The truth is there for everybody to see. So guys, not so we say more. Let's hear your opinion.